Welcome friends once again in another trigonometric application word problem. Here question is saying an observer of 1.5 meter tall is 28.5 meter away from a chimney. The angle of elevation of the top of the chimney from her eyes is 45 degree. What is the height of the chimney? As I already mentioned that first of all we have to Pictureize the word, pictureize this sentence, what exactly it means, right? So, uh, an observer of 1.5 meter tall. So, first, uh, let me make a observer of 1.5 meter tall. Suppose uh, this is my observer. Something like this, okay? And uh, her, it means she's a girl, right? Suppose this girl, right? is uh, 1.5 meter tall right so the height of her is 1.5 meter and uh, is 28.5 meter away from a chimney so some distance away suppose there is a chimney right and if you make a chimney proper chimney I, I don't know how to make just, just suppose this is a chimney okay this is the chimney and the smokes are coming from here these are the smokes right which is coming from this chimney and this girl is about 28.5 meter away right 28.5 meter away right she is 28.5 meter away from the base of this chimney right and when she looks at the top of this she makes the angle of elevation of 45 degree right when she when she watch this right she makes the angle of 45 degree okay uh, now what is the height of the chimney so we have to find out what is the height of this chimney we need to find out this what is the height right now uh, let me suppose here uh, all the concepts we have got all the information I have uh, pictureized this right whatever we have got now we need to find out the height of this so first let me name it properly suppose a b is the girl right a b is the height of the girl height of the girl right and here let me give a b and c d c d is the height of the chimney right c d is the height of chimney height of chimney and BD right BD or uh, let me s uh, give name AF suppose AF which is also equals to AF is the distance between the chimney right is the distance between them distance between them this is the distance between them right so what is the height of chimney that we need to find out over here so uh, one thing I want to mention over here see this is horizontal line right and this is also horizontal line so these are parallel and it is like a rectangle it is like a rectangle and in a rectangle right this is 90 degree in a rectangle opposite sides are equal and parallel so if this is 1.5 so FD should be also 1.5 meter and this AF and BD are equals that's why AF should also be 28.5 meter it should be also 28.5 meter right now here uh, we need to find out CD and we have got the FD so we need to find out now FC part right FC part how to find out now to find out the FC part this part right only this part we need to find out so let me take this triangle this right angle triangle in this right angle triangle what we can see that we know the value of 28.5 that means uh, a base we know and a triangle uh, angle we know right so we need to find out CF let me tell you here one thing in a right angle triangle if you know two things either two sides or uh, the two angles uh, or sometime like uh, one side and one angle or uh, and one uh, anything if you get two things right so you can easily find out all the sides and all the angles of the triangle easily right of the right angle triangle so here we have got this base right and this this uh, this angle we have got and what we need to find out we need to find out this CF so I want to tell you here once again 
we have got this part right which is uh, I can say this is base right this is base we have got and we need to find out the opposite some some people say it perpendicular also we need to find out this perpendicular right so we need to find out this perpendicular so as I already suggested you we need to take out the relationship what is the relationship between this opposite and the base or you can say the perpendicular and the base we know that tan has the relationship between the opposite that is perpendicular and the base so here I have to apply the tan tan means uh, a trigonometric ratio tan here so now I'm telling you uh, now I, I want to just write here that uh, mm, in triangle in a right triangle ACF right tan 45 degree right tan 45 degree equals to CF upon AF right perpendicular or you can say opposite over the base that is AF right and tan 45 the value of tan 45 everybody know that is 1 and CF value of CF we don't know here that we need to find out right but we know the value of AF right we know the value of AF which is 28.5 meter so now I can say that my CF my CF is 28.5 meter so we got the value of this CF which we get 28.5 meter right and we need to find out this as a whole what is the value of this CD so I can easily now say height of the chimney right thus height of the chimney is CF plus F and I think this is B yeah FD right see here CF right this CF part and then FD part if I'll add I'll get this whole height of the chimney right so FD part and CF value we recently found out that is 28.5 and the value of FD is 1.5 because this is just equal with the height of the girl right we need to at this height of the girl also because this this both are equal right in a right in a rectangle opposite sides are equal so 28.5 and 1.5 that is 30 meter so what we get we got that the height of the this chimney right is 30 meter this is 30 meter so easily uh, we can find out anything uh, it, it has been asked in the question first one thing you should know if you uh, if you are getting any kind of problem of trigonometric application word problem first you you have to see what are the things you have got right and then try to picturize that this is second step second step right try to picturize that and watch there which right angle you're going to make and what you have got and what you need to find out right what you have got and what you need to find out which side you have got and which side you need to find out and see the relationship between these two sides whether it is uh, it is making uh, the ratio of tan maybe ratio of sine ratio of cos whatever it is making check out that right with that uh, with that angle and then apply that uh, ratio that trigonometric ratio whether it may be tan cos or tan uh, cot uh, whatever sign it may be anything just apply it you'll get the value right and there here to solve this problem you may have to sometimes use a little bit concepts of mensuration like here I use the concept of mensuration that opposite sides of the rectangle are equal right so this simple simple types of uh, things you need to apply at once here so I think you can uh, uh, you, you can do uh, easily we'll be solving more problems that will uh, that will uh, give you more concepts and more clearance which types of questions are being asked in these chapters and all the stops will be learning uh, uh, one by one okay so uh, please uh, friends if you like my videos please uh, subscribe me I'll be really happy and I will try to make more videos and uh, next thing if there are some uh, some some uh, some kind of weakness inside me then please comment uh, give me the reply or uh, any by any means uh, you can uh, you can give me suggestions I will try to improve in my shelf and uh, I will try to give a better quality that you can easily understand you can get good marks okay so we'll meet in the next video bye bye